Uh, hi everyone and welcome to the second question about induction motors now in this this question we will cover the power flow in the induction motor so this diagram try to illustrate the concept of power flow in the uh, induction motor starting from number one here which is the pn which is an electrical power and read until we reach number seven which is the p out so basically we start with pn electrical power three phase then we'll take away from that PSCL, which is the cover loss in the stator, plus P core, which is the core loss also in the stator. Now, when we take these two together, we will reach to the air gap, the power in the air gap between the stator and the rotor, called PAG. Now, when we take from that number four, which is PRCL, or the cover loss in the rotor, we get P convert. The power that is now ready to be converted to the mechanical power when we take from that the friction windage and some miscellaneous losses then we will get the p out the output power that reaches the shaft of the rotor and connect it to our to our load so the question here will be dealing with with this concept the concept of the power flow it's a very interesting question. It's a very small question, but it has some important concepts that need to be uh, illustrated and discussed. It says here the input power to the rotor circuit of a 6 pole 60 hertz induction motor running at 1100 is 5 kilowatt. We want to find the rotor power loss. The input power to the rotor circuit. Let's come here. Now we have the BN. This BN is the input to the stator, but the input to the rotor is basically nothing but PAG. So what we are given here, the air gap power, although it's not say that explicitly, but this, what does it mean? So we have the PAG is equal to the five kilowatt. And then we have that the motor is running at 1100 RPM. So basically we are giving NM. This is the, the shaft or the rotor speed, 1100 RPM. Okay. Now, something very important is if it's not given in the question, most likely you will need it, which is the slip. What is the slip? S is equal to NS minus NM divided by NS times 100. NS, of course, is the synchronous speed. Sometimes it's called sin, sync, doesn't really matter. Okay, so we need to find NS. So what is NS is equal to 120 times F divided by P, which is 120 times 60 divided the number of poles, which is here is 6. So this will give me 1200 RPM. And this is expected to be higher than NM. Always the synchronous speed is higher than NM. So from this, my S is equal to 1200 minus 1100 divided by 1200 and times 100. This will give me 8.33%. Now, once I know the slip, I can find the P convert, which is nothing but one minus the slip times PAG, which is equal to one minus 0 0.0833 times the 5 kilowatt, and this will give me a power of 4.584 kilowatt. Now, I know the converted power, I know PAG, so this is the converted, this is power in the air gap. The difference between two will give us PRCL. So your PRCL, the power loss in the rotor is equal to the PAG minus P convert, which is equal to the 5 kilowatt minus 4.584 kilowatt. And this is equal to 0.4 one six kilowatt.